Hi, this is Dr. Matthew Carpenter. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about how we go about removing root canal uh, therapy treated teeth safely from a person. Um, as I had discussed previously, um, a root canal represents um, the most toxic anaerobic infection that we're aware of in, in a human body. Uh, there's no place else in the body where we can have um, a dead tissue that is held into a living system. All the time the system's attacking the dead tissue and all the time the dead tissue is poisoning the system. So some of the things that's uh, very interesting to me that guide our process when we're removing these things is, um, and a lot of this work has been done by Dr. Hal Huggins, but you would think that with roots of teeth filled with tubules and bacteria, you would think that these would be the most toxic portions of the, of the situation. And it's actually the concentration of bacteria and toxins is the lowest in the root. The second highest concentration of bacteria that we find is in a little structure that goes around the root of each tooth and separates the roots of our teeth from the jawbone. And it's a ligament. It's called the periodontal ligament. The periodontal ligament acts as a um, kind of a shock absorber, but it's also, um, it's like a ligament. So it's a tissue that helps to um, provide nutrients to a tooth. It's got some things that bacteria like. It's got fluids and synovial fluids, and there's not a lot of immune system in a ligament. There's not a lot of blood. There's not a lot of uh, lymphocytes and white blood cells. So we actually find a higher percentage of bacteria, and I'll kind of do it with green. There's green is the bacteria, and there's bacteria in the roots of the teeth, but there's actually a higher percentage of bacteria in the ligaments of teeth. The absolute highest percentage of bacteria, toxic bacteria, leprosy type bacteria, that we find in a root canal system is actually in this area adjacent to the ligament. This is your jawbone, and the bacteria love to move from the root to the ligament to the jawbone because as they make that transition, they find richer and richer food sources. Imagine to these oral bacteria that have been living in a scuzzy old root, they get a pretty nice meal out here in the bloodstream. So this is very important information and, and great research that's been done with respect to this because it helps to guide our surgeries. There are uh, many different opinions and protocols and systems that people follow in dental procedures. Um, I am a strong proponent of the Huggins Protocol, and it's a self-serving reason. I want the best success for my patients. Um, the Huggins Protocol has been shown consistently to be able to transition toxins out of a, out of a person without causing harm. So. Part of what we do in the Huggins Protocol is we recommend that people be sedated with a root canal procedure. It helps to keep the heart rate and the blood pressure lower. It makes everything cooler and calmer. We recommend IV vitamin C therapy in conjunction with surgical procedures. And the Huggins Protocol would call that we would do that vitamin therapy the day of the procedure, of the surgery, and also the following day. So in our office at Transcendental Health, even having a single tooth removed is a two-day process. You don't have to stay overnight or anything like that, but you're in the office two consecutive days. One of the things that's been really amazing to me, it's kind of like one of those things you learn and you don't really know how it's going to be until you see it happen, is how the body heals and regenerates itself if you do things right. And the Huggins Protocol actually facilitates the right process for a patient's healing. So I can tell you that whenever these teeth are removed, as aggressive as this sounds, we remove a large section of bone around that area. And this is, this is alveolar bone in the jaw that we know has high, high, high levels of anaerobic bacteria. Everything that I learned in school was that, oh man, you remove the jaw bone, you're going to destroy the patient's face and you've you got to put a bone graft back in there and all this stuff, and it's just not true. One of the blessings that I have working with the naturopath is that we really honor timeless principles about healing. Whenever we 
you know, A, traumatically and gently remove these teeth, and we've removed all the necrotic and infected bone, we allow a patient to bleed. We sit with them in the operatory. People don't run off and take a break. We don't turn on the music or anything like that. We sit with the patient and we literally, three or four of us observe that socket and we watch it bleed. And the body has the wisdom about it. And the body will purge and purge and purge until the blood is cleaner. And then the body will start to clot. The clotting process is one of the most uh, important parts of this whole procedure and it helps to keep uh, future jawbone infections from developing. Um, you would think with all the surgical things that I'm talking about that people would have a lot of pain associated with this. And I remember when I first did my Huggins training, I was like, you know, golly, you must give a lot of pain meds. We almost never have to give our patients pain medication. And what I believe in my heart is that the process of having bacteria and infection in your body is what causes pain. So it's, it's very, very um, atypical for us to have to give a patient pain medication after doing a surgical procedure. People just don't have pain when we follow the proper protocols. Our opinion about extracting all these root canal teeth is not an easy opinion to hear. We're actually all out there trying to figure out how to find the money to do the root canal and do the crown that has to be done after the root canal. Who wants to hear somebody say it has to come out? Believe me, we see patients um, at a level of, of um, sickness and disease in their lives where they are more um, oriented and motivated around feeling better than they are on keeping a tooth in their mouth. Um, lots of biologic dentists, even within the same organizations, will have different concepts of root canals. In, in my city, there are dentists who advocate and support uh, using ozone therapy um, in place of surgically removing these um, infections. And I can tell you there's been research done. Ozone therapy, and we use it in our office too, is a great adjunct to having one of these teeth surgically removed, but it does not in any way serve as a replacement therapy. If you had a dead uh, buffalo in your backyard and the smell was bothering you, you wouldn't just go hang uh, freshen ups around the buffalo all day. You got to get the carcass out of the yard. And that's basically what we're talking about with the root canal. Um, so I believe ozone therapy has very good uses around surgery. It helps to kill bacteria. It helps to regenerate new blood supplies. Really, really wonderful therapies. But I don't think it's, uh, and, and you know, research and the people who have come before us, uh, their research would support this. Um, doing ozone therapy is not a replacement for physically removing the tooth from the body. I, I, um, I haven't always as a dentist enjoyed doing a lot of surgery. So it was something interesting for me to consider as I started learning about the realities of these things and being somebody who wants to help patients with health, I really didn't have anybody uh, to refer them to that I knew followed safe protocols. So, you know, we do a lot of surgery in our office and you only have to work with a couple patients that have had root canals and see the types of wonderful improvements in their overall life and their energy levels and their health to really get behind the procedure. Because to this day, I have not removed one of these root canals that hasn't been something noticeable to the patient. I'm removing it because I know, based on research, that they harbor anaerobic infection that is not conducive to good overall health. But I, I really love, and, and Dr. Russ as well, you know, we love to hear about people having um, improvements all over their body as a result of having these dead tissues removed. In our office we understand that the body is a complex system and that it communicates on a lot of different levels. One of those levels that I've learned about that uh, people like Dr. Russ who's more tuned into energetic associations with health and, and the body is that every one of our teeth is actually associated with a different part of our body. And in our office, in our new patient exam, we go through these associations with patients in order to help them understand that some of the things that they may be struggling with can really be related to blocked energetic channels in the mouth. There are certain things in the mouth that will block energy from moving as it should through the body, the way it would be if you um, damaged a cord on a lamp that was on its way to the wall. If the energy doesn't travel as well, you don't get the same effect in health with the organs. We know that fillings, uh, base metals, dead tissues, 
All of these things disrupt an ideal or healthy energy flow through the body. So one of the things that, that we really enjoy um, is seeing different aspects of patients' health improve as a result for, of removing root canals. It is not why we recommend them to be removed. We don't say, well, you've got hip pain, let's take out this root canal and maybe it'll fix it. I take out root canals and support and boldly talk about taking out root canals because it's the right thing to do. These are the most um, damaging infections that we know of in the human body. And I have the pathology reports to support it. We routinely send in blood samples and things from these procedures in order to help understand and support why we've taken these teeth out. So, you know, seeing someone regain liver function or better digestion or large intestine function as a result of removing a root canal is just kind of a bonus to us. We enjoy seeing people get back to a better health.